Blessed tonight. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. It's kind of shady in here. Well, not shady, but it's kind of dark. Shh. Be quiet. It's something unexpected. The tarot card is a card of rebellion. Something suddenly and unexpected happens that we don't know how to manage. Something that, yeah, like that came out of nowhere. I guarantee you guys. I don't know why I'm so on to that. I'm on it because my kids used to always like speak highly of CJ So Cool and Royalty. But, and there's stuff every now and then when I was doing my readings, when I was getting a quite bit of following, uh, a quite bit of viewers, they items used to roll up on my thing that I never would think to because I just like it's just some people energy that I don't know what the hell is wrong with uh, YouTube or whatever either like it's like they be trying to do it on purpose trying to catch you like looking in an ugly way or something sometimes my camera is doing that and I'm just like that should have me looking like a California uh, toasted something and like I was crying and like I had my which you know if you're if you're pretty much like I am, which I am a comedian, which I can make some faces, which I can do some things out of, <laughs> you know, to make some things look kind of spoofy and roofy or whatever. And you're, we're not going to be cute all the time, but don't just be catching me like that, like trying to like make it look like um butt ass oogly oogly or whatever no and then I didn't kind of gain some weight too uh uh no no something we're putting a death to here the so death card could be a Scorpio or a Scorpio could be the reason for why a lot of things have occurred in your situation that's been Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person was had a lot of dark energies with them, was in and out, or the person that you're dealing with is dealing with a Knight of Cups. This can be a water sign. This person meant for you to experience hardship they ran in very quickly with a facade like they had emotions like it was going to be something that it isn't and then the movement stopped very quick and Someone is like got a spirit in them, a demon in them. And they're very flighty. And whatever they have done that got them down bad could have something to do with blood a sickness that has something to do with blood, LGBTQ, something somebody that got stopped, put a stop to. Like, 
They was dancing around and parading around like a skeleton into and ran into something that they can't shake off or something. Of this, of that nature, like, and you're the empress, you're over here. Things are going to be still flourishing for you, still moving. You're still going to be shining bright like a diamond with your crown on over here to yourself, minding your business, or this is what you were doing. Let's see what else comes out. You was minding your business, being attentive to do with your whereabouts, keeping tabs on your your vagina and making sure you were straight and while this person was acting like a loose cannon, I don't know the word, they were being very flighty, flighty, had a lot of dark energies. They was riding in on the demon, with a demon, I mean, very flighty, doing the most. Like, this person can know that you know that you know what you know that you know about them. At the time, you could have, or they're dealing with a knight of swords, or this could even be someone in the past, or this could have been you, because... This Knight of Cups is on a black horse, and this Knight of Swords is on a white horse. Now, we're going to clarify. Ugh. I just had to take some allergy. I don't know what the hell all of this stuff that they got dropping out ever since this COVID, but... Mm. This, it ain't going to work. I'm telling you that. So, I'm going to clarify. I hope that you guys are all doing well tonight in the mid-morning. Get ready and go to bed. Someone that you had to walk away from, they had too many secrets. This person... Don't know how to love. This person flighty, sneaky, was dibbing and dabbing around in the LGBTQ. Somebody that they found out about either this energy found out about someone or they was somebody that was burning, that was disabled or mentally unstable, disabled. That was down bad in a wheelchair that, let's clarify, oh, damn, of course, it's going to fall out. Okay. We got uh, somebody had somebody down bad, like, oh, my God. Somebody was down bad, and someone still was dealing with this person. And to they just then had to put a complete end to or they could have came mobile. They could have came empty mobility, like since it's in reverse, like. This person may be a goner. Something to do with the Leo and them battling. This person could be a Leo. 
They are wrestling against flesh and blood. This person been doing this for a long time, whatever they were doing. It caused them to have to be stuck and down mobile, or they could have been, they could be locked down. This person was carrying devil energy, was operating out of their dark shadow side, and God had to sit them down. This could be another, this person could be locked up behind bars or something. But they got secrets. Like, you were speaking the truth to this person or you could have been acting immature right along with this person. Like, with your communication, you didn't want to, like, really, really cut this person down. So you had to be on an immature level with this person while they were being very flighty in and out. And could have possibly been acting like a clown or this person, their heart is dead or because their upper respiratory is like you could see it and you could see their bones, lovely bones. I might have could have killed somebody or something. Somebody erased someone. Someone got rid of someone. Someone was being flighty and immature. Or it's a lot of immature nights. These energies that are someone have put someone down. Someone did something to cause someone to be in a wheelchair. Like, they could have been trying to kill this person. These young, immature energies or flighty could be a air sign. And you told them, you told this water sign that was acting immature like, you spoke to them in a language that they understand. And then you put a death to it because they were ignoring you like you didn't matter or something. And all the time you're the empress over here, like giving them wisdom and knowledge and answers and trying to lead them out of darkness or wrestling with flesh and blood or something like they disappointed you this could have been someone that you looked at as a family or that you thought you were going to be in a family with um this could be even family members who did this that you had to cut out and put a death to like physically emotionally mentally because these energies are flighty and they were coming against you they were juggling you or wanted you to be juggling your finances and you to be without they were plotting on you Plotting to make you be down bad. A nine of swords and a the will of fortune. Like they wanted to turn your world upside down. And they were behind the scene plotting to come up with some type of witchery. Or they were looking in books. This could have been someone that you were working with. But you received messages that these people didn't like you or was plotting on you 
because they could see that you were the empress. That keep coming out. You're the queen of swords and the lovers. Like you were showing them real, true, genuine love and they were over here being fake and falsely and wearing masks and being in an illusion and a facade and over here wanting you to not move forward. They try to stop your forward movement is what I'm getting. But they didn't know you came with all the tricks. You got all the all the juice, all the wisdom and knowledge, no college, how to manifest the money and everything else. They didn't know that you were the one, one with the, the light, the gift, the wisdom, the knowledge, the health, the strength, the might, the wit. Like, and they tried to cast you out and cast you down to the dogs and leave you in darkness or something. You dancing on that. You dancing on a book of wisdom, knowledge. Like you carry the book with you. You got, I don't know if it's the Bible or what, but it's giving you a lot of valuable information to where you got your wand, your baton, your sword. You didn't pause on your sword. You was like, let me put this down for a minute and do my diddy the dop dop do 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 dance. Because I got my tools with me. Tipping on my shoes. Got money that I need to go pick up. And manifest some more and some more. And flip, whip, and dip. And plant some more seeds and grow some more harvest thing. Cause I'm getting messages all day long from, from God and he's showing people up while they're still they still over here some young immature energies celebrating your demise celebrating you like the idea of them thinking that they're trying to stop and block your love life and your money and cause confusion in your family, within your family and your friends. These people want to then spewing out witchcraft while you're over here in hermit mode, figuring up some more stuff to get these people up out of your way and up out of your face because you know that they're backstabbers. They have backstabbed you once and you know they want to do it again. That's what these people are working so hard to do. All of them are so jealous of you. They want to backstab you. Like what? Make people be like that. Like that's crazy. Like these people are shooting to backstab you. Like And you're like reading the Bible, getting answers, seeking the higher power for information and trying to heal from dark things that have occurred in your life. But you're dealing with a younger energy that could want to try to come towards you and offer you a cup of love that's a water sign. Or they just have a lot of emotions for you. You're like. This person is. You feel that they'll be. In, 
like younger than you, you don't have to teach and tell them everything. You have emotions for them too, but you feel they're too young for you or something. Or you're going to be teaching a lot of younger people and giving, showing your emotion and your love. Or you showing these younger energies how to love themselves and others because they didn't know how. They wanted you to be burdened down, like, with no say-so, being alone and burdened down. King of Pentacles, why are you over here building on your money, working on your money, working on your stability, working on your goals? Working on your endeavors, with your endeavors, working on your creativities. They wanted you to be burdened because you got gifts and ways to make it. They want you to be left out. No one showing any emotions or love for you. They want you to feel single out, feel alone, like you don't have anyone. Because of hate, jealousy, and envy. That's sad. And you got the world in your hands. God is going to give you the whole centerpiece. Of the whole, not only centerpiece, but the whole world in your hands. Like... Like this, not a one. You're kind of tired of battling or having passion for something that isn't growing. Like these people are standing behind you and on the side of you, stalking you, watching you, copying you, and hating on you and being envious of you. So you're just like. A crown of pinnacles, like, whatever. You're the queen of cups. Could be relaxing, taking salt baths. Focusing on your finances. Your twin flame is getting ready to dance right into this union with you. Wow, they celebrated, wow, quite too soon for the moon. Yep, you're coming with the sword to cut someone down to size. Yep, you got emotions for yourself. It's one of the things, you're nurturing the things around you. And within arm's reach that you can, ha that you have control over, not anyone else. You're not trying to control the way they view life, what they're doing, how they're doing it, and trying to sabotage others. You're just staying to yourself, being attentive to your own. And these people don't like it. They want you to follow them. They want you... You know, they're trying to act like a leader, but how can they be a leader when they have taken things from you? And they didn't even know how to love themselves, and they were presenting themselves as leaders. And now when you're up on it and you're t speaking the truth, they are mad and they don't want to abide by the rules because you know who they are really genuinely, but you just was letting them think.
that they were doing something major that they wasn't doing. If you have something in mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Bye.